Nice. <laughs> hey guys, it's Artis and Tony, and I slipped away for a quickie. <laughs> but don't tell my wife, okay? Yes, I'm here. It's Friday, sort of morning, about 11:30 or so. I'm at our bullseye pistol range. I went down to the plinking range. There was like 40 people down there. I couldn't even get in the place. So. I came back up here. The only bad thing about this is these target stands are really out there. This is for a little competition range, you know, that we have. I would normally set my target stand up about really just past this column here on the other target, you know, at the other planking range. At the plank. Son of a gun! Now I gotta go fix that. Shoot. We have these stands. Let me just go show you now that uh, I gotta go put my target back up. Okay, I got her back in there. And uh, you can see here, these uh, can be mechanically moved and, uh, you know, for timed competitions. It's pretty cool. But they're way out here. <laughs> I'm not used to practicing with my pistols that far, so I guess we'll just see how I do. One thing cool I just discovered earlier about my VanQuest messenger bag is I can rig up my large tripod under this like that. Pretty cool. It won't fit inside, but it'll it rides pretty good like that. Okay, so my practice today is with my Glock 19 and my Boberg. By the way, there's my Aegis holster. I'm really digging that and. Of course, the holster I made for the Boberg, which I really dig in my pocket. <laughs> Pretty cool. So, let's see how I can do with these babies. It's been about three weeks since I've shot, so there's no telling really, honestly. <laughs> okay, I'm going to start out with my Glock 19 because I know I can do a little better because uh, it's a little cold outside already. And uh, so, uh, let's give her a, a go. Get you in frame here. I'm going to shoot one more magazine. Part of my problem is today I've got a limited amount of time. So I don't have a lot of time to practice. Be a little better that time and to get warmed up I guess. Now let me try a, uh, a uh, magazine of 9mm and my Boberg here and see what happens. You know you're not always going to have plush environments to shoot in. Well, it's good to come out when it's colder and shoot it kind of tests your you know your hands are cold or 
you're touching metal and uh, that makes it colder and the wind's blowing and it'll uh, test you. Now, I haven't shot this Boberg since I got it back from Steve McNeil. Let's see. Yeah, we're still running. Let's see if I can even hit the cardboard that far away. Hey. I got excited because I hit it a few times and then I started speeding up. Huh. Let me try that again. Alright. Let's calm down. Ugh. Get old back working. Get the old back working. The only thing about this double action is you gotta really concentrate. That long trigger pull. And I'm rushing again. Well, let me try seven more. I'm actually doing, I'm actually doing better than I thought I would with the Boberg. That's encouraging because normally at that distance with this little short barrel, I haven't been doing so well. All right, let's try to get one more in the black. Got one more. Oh, well, shoot, I'm out of time. Boogers, gotta go get, gotta go get Alex. So, I have to pack everything up. Okay, so looks like some of my shots hit here, and I did get some in the black with my Boberg. Of course, the Glock. I always do a little better, but I usually do better than that. So, I just gotta start to practicing at that distance more often. I need to come back in the morning when I've got more time. By the time I got here I only had about 30 minutes and uh, all I could think of is, oh I gotta go get Alex. So probably come back in the morning with Barrett and we'll take a little more time. Maybe I can get Alex to come. To, but he's always doing something with his friends now, which is fine. Just got to get that time in with them when they're young, like I did. Ooh, it's cold. It's warm up. <laughs> 